sure how arrived. He rushed out from the earth, arriving at just the right time to seize the golden Bodhi fruit. Golden light surged like flames, illuminating everything. There was also an intoxicating fragrance that seeped into one's bones. A refreshing feeling immediately overwhelmed him, one that made him feel like he sprouted wings and ascended into the heavens. In? He was shocked. He couldn't pick it. Even though the little tree was about to wither away, it was incomparably sturdy, as if it was created from divine gold. The stem of that fruit was also like this. He was unexpectedly unable to get it off on the first try. He had heard Yunshi say that this golden Bodhi tree was a rare weapon refinement material, and sure enough, this was true. Even someone with flesh as powerful as this couldn't break it. Just come off already. He used a bit more force. The golden Bodhi tree shone, and then the stem of the fruit broke. However, right at this moment, a shocking transformation took place. A powerful wave of energy surged from beneath him that blasted him into the air. He coughed out blood. If not for the magical force immunity, he would have definitely been killed. It was a resplendent expanse of symbols that blasted on his body. The war race's middle-aged woman appeared, her beautiful hair curled up, the golden ornament shining. Her jade hands were raised. She rushed out from the earth, and then she immediately seized the golden Bodhi fruit that released a strong fragrance. Sure Hao felt great resentment. He actually had the divine fruit seized from him at the critical moment, leaving him furious. This was the war race woman's spiritual body that entered underground to kill Sure Hao. Even though the blood pool had injured her, it didn't greatly hinder her movements. She unexpectedly secretly arrived in this place. It could be said that her goal was exactly the same as Sure House. After discovering that unforeseen things had occurred underground, she came to pick the medicine out of great risk. You, Sure How almost spat out blood. He originally wanted to plot against others, but he ended up becoming prey himself, wasting all that effort for nothing. A wonk sounded. The world began to sway about. A terrifying field spread outwards that swept through this ancient place. Sure How's expression changed. Even though he was extremely unwilling, he still immediately displayed the earth shrink to inch's great divine ability to flee into the distance, because the existence in the blood pool underneath the mountain seemed to be reviving, feeling that it was the most important thing right now. He couldn't care about anything else. Do you think it is that easy to escape? Leave behind your life. The war race woman chased after him to eliminate him. Sure how's expression was unpleasant. The so-called magical force immunity was limited. It was clear that in the end, there was no way for his supreme expert realm to contend against a true deity. The losses were too great this time. His injuries were few, but losing the golden Bodhi fruit was too great of a loss. Hong, the great earth split apart. A bone blade tore through the air. White light shone resplendently. That bone deity rushed out and released a roar. Wishing to seize my divine fruit, leave behind your life. With a chi sound, the blade radiance was like a rainbow stretching a thousand zhang in length. It hacked towards the war race middle-aged woman with heaven overflowing killing intent. In the sky, the three great true deities stopped. They didn't travel that far. They gazed towards the ancient land, and then they couldn't help but be shocked. They all revealed looks of pleasant surprise. The golden bodhi fruit is at hand. Quickly provide assistance. The war race woman's true body was extremely excited. She made her way around the Bone Mountain and quickly chased after it. She was extremely stirred up. Her spiritual body had done great work. In reality, they never had any intention of leaving from the start. The Golden Bodhi Fruit was too precious. Even though they knew that this place was dangerous, they still wanted to move based on the circumstances. Chan. On the battlefield, the Bone Blade was like a rainbow as it hacked apart one of the war race middle-aged woman's spiritual body's magical artifacts. It pressed forward, the wide expanse of blade radiance wreaking havoc like a sea. It was extremely terrifying. Cease your insolence. In the rear, the three experts arrived. A great battle erupted. Sure how broke away from the battlefield. He spat out several mouthfuls of blood. This great loss made him feel rather gloomy inside. He was actually attacked from behind and had his precious medicine stolen. It was hard for him to swallow his resentment. It was clear that in the eyes of the three true deities, the golden Bodhi fruit was much more important than him. Not a single person chased after him. They were all fighting the bone deity. What was shocking was that the shaking bone mountain not too far out calmed down again, and then the domain released from underground disappeared. 
Heavenly deity rebirth? Sure how said softly. He concealed his body, and then he left, not wishing to become prey after the great battle ended. Heavenly deity magical blade, please display your power. Right at that moment, the bone deity spoke, shouting like this. It also changed a short line of incantations. The bone mountain immediately shone, and divine radiance erupted powerfully. The three deities' expressions changed at the same time. They immediately turned around to leave. There was an icy cold killing intent pressing over that made them tremble inwardly. Chi. Blade radiance surged into the heavens. From that direction, a bone blade tore through the air like a great sun, rushing out from the bone mountain and hacking over with extreme speed. Pooh. Blood flew outwards. The dragon sparrow released a miserable cry. It revealed its original body. One of its wings was hacked off, drawing forth a rain of blood. It began to escape in fear. Where do you think you are going? The bone deity shouted loudly. A palm slapped over, and with a punk sound, the dragon sparrow was struck. Its feathers scattered about, and then another cry sounded. It flew outwards. Meanwhile, the heavenly deity magical blade's radiance, unstoppable and oppressive, curling with dazzling symbols, sliced over, hacking the war race woman's spiritual body into two. When the war race man and woman's true body saw this, they both trembled inwardly. However, they still weren't willing to give up the golden Bodhi fruit. They swooped downwards to grab that golden fruit. Kill. The bone deity shouted. That heavenly deity magical blade dragged a dazzling tail light behind it like a comet. It streaked across the sky, erupting with incomparable fluctuations. Pooh. The two individuals were both struck. The male lost his left arm, while the woman lost her right leg. Were races precious blood splattered everywhere. However, the middle-aged woman still caught the golden Bodhi fruit. She endured the pain and rushed into the sky. Again! The bone deity shouted. The heavenly deity magical artifact flew forwards, but the light dimmed, and the power this time was decreased. This was the heavenly deity's weapon. The bone deity was activating it purely based on an incantation. Unfortunately, the time limit was up, so this time, it was unable to injure his opponent. He himself also expended a lot of energy. So, when the war race male and female pair saw this, they were no longer interested in fighting zealously any longer. They turned around and ran. Bringing away this golden Bodhi fruit was more important than anything else. You all dare take something that belongs to me? You all are not allowed to leave. The skeleton held his own bone blade and chased after them, erupting with heaven overflowing killing intent. The dragon sparrow rushed into the distance. It had suffered a serious injury. It followed the other two great experts, clearly trying to increase its chances of getting away by sharing the danger. It feared that it might be killed if it stayed behind. The bone deity released a cold laugh. He was a hare from the next cultivation realm and more powerful than the other three, so he wasn't scared of them joining hands. This was a chaotic battle. The bone deity slaughtered after them, and they continuously fought intensely. The three deities suffered quite bitterly under that heavenly deity magical artifact. Their fighting strength was already weakened, so they were no match. As the battle progressed, the three individuals' bones were broken and their muscles severed. Not only did they receive cuts from the blade, they suffered many palm strikes as well. There were many parts of their bodies that were cracked and about to break apart. The dragon sparrow was in the worst state. After turning back to its original form, both its wings were chopped off, and one of its claws even exploded. There were bloody holes all over his body. He was on the verge of falling. In the end, it managed to break away. It flew into the distance while on the verge of collapse. As for the group of vicious birds under the dragon sparrow, they had long retreated. The true deity battle had left them trembling. They all escaped from this ancient battlefield. The bone deity was also injured. Several of its bones were broken. He gave the dragon sparrow a look, feeling a bit of reluctance, but still ultimately letting it go, not using one of its spiritual bodies to chase after it. He instead concentrated his attention on fighting the two war race experts. Going to stake it all. The war race male shouted. He summoned all of his spiritual bodies to join this battle, and he activated magical artifacts to fight the bone deity. In the end, it was still not enough. The spiritual bodies were killed one after another. He dropped from the sky and landed in pool of blood. You are the last one left, said the bone deity as he stared at the woman. Chi. At that moment, 
the war race middle-aged woman could only escape. She ignited her essence blood to frantically rush into the distance. She lost one of her legs, so she was relying purely on magical force. The moment the two rushed into the distance, the face of war race middle-aged male that was lying in a pool of blood fell. He crawled up. And then with some hesitation, he fled from the battlefield as fast as lightning. It was clear that even though he was injured, it wasn't as severe as it looked. For the sake of living, he didn't hesitate to humiliate himself by feigning weakness, collapsing in that pool of blood. It had to be mentioned that the war race woman's speed was extraordinary. Even though the bone deity chased after her the entire time and took action from time to time, he was still unable to cut her off. As time went on, the bone deity felt uneasy, because it was getting too far away from the bone mountain. It had a responsibility to protect it and couldn't depart too far from it. The so-called golden bodhi fruit wasn't too useful for it, and it just didn't want to give it away for no reason. As time went on, it couldn't hold on any longer and had to return. Roar. It released a test, releasing a soul roar. His entire skull shone, and then a soul fluctuation erupted, rushing forward. Ah, the war race's middle-aged woman cried out miserably, clasping her head between her arms. However, she still didn't fall in the end. She increased her speed and departed from this place. The bone deity's face fell. While carrying the pure white long blade, he hurried back. This battle thus concluded. On the great earth, a figure appeared that chased towards where the war race woman fled. His body was surrounded by resplendent symbols, and on his back were Kuan Ping wings. His legs erupted with multicolored light as well. In that instant, Shi Hao used both the Kuan Ping technique and the earth withdrawal great divine ability, turning his body into a streak of light that tore through the great earth. He had been following along the entire time, watching the great battle in secret, only that he stayed rather far away and not easily closing in. Only when the bone deity had departed far into the distance did he erupt with power and chase after that woman's trail. On a stone mountain, the war race woman descended. There was blood all around her body. Her bones were broken and her muscles cut. She had suffered unimaginably serious injuries and there were cracks all over her body. She was on the verge of splitting apart, only managing to escape here with great difficulty. She really couldn't hold on anymore. She descended, and then she immediately ate a spiritual pill before sitting here to rest. Sure how silently closed in, his entire being seemingly merging with the void. His expression was cold and his gaze merciless. The moment he descended on the stone mountain, he suddenly increased speed. Who? The war race woman was extremely vigilant, noticing that something wasn't right. However, the moment her eyes opened, a youth already slaughtered over. This kind of thing was normally unimaginable. As a true deity, an enemy's attack would actually be so close before she noticed. The main reason was because her injuries were too severe and she was on the verge of collapse. Hong. Sure how to action, his entire body erupting with symbols. The reincarnation divine ability was perfectly displayed, surrounding the blood-covered body in front of him. Huh? What kind of precious technique is this? The war race woman was shocked. She was seriously injured, and she was severely lacking in spiritual essence. Her condition was currently worsening. She felt her vitality quickly flowing out from her. Her life force was simply being seized. She quickly retaliated, her entire body erupting with symbols to kill this youth. When Shurahau saw this, he was quite shocked. After landing his attack, the reincarnation force operated in the other party's flesh. If it was anyone else, they would definitely age greatly and quickly deteriorate. This woman was a true deity. In the battle before, even though she was seriously injured, right now, she held on, not being killed by a single strike. Hand over your life. Sure how roared. He threw himself over to kill this enemy and seize the golden bodhi fruit. It wasn't that the reincarnation symbols weren't strong enough, but instead that the true deity's cultivation realm was too high. Sure how had just reached the supreme expert realm, so he wasn't able to suppress and kill her. You dare come here to try to kill me? Go to hell. The war race woman shouted. Her entire body shone in magical force shone. However, her flesh couldn't handle this type of impact and began to quickly split apart. In addition, an alarming thing happened. Even though her magical force was vigorous and all types of symbols landed on Sure How's body, it wasn't able to effectively seriously injure the other party this time. 
Sher Hao coughed out large mouthfuls of blood, but he successfully held on. He had the magical force immunity type of ability, but against a true deity, it was still not enough to completely eradicate the other party's symbols. Sher Hao released a roar. He pressed forward, formed fist imprints, and then smashed it downwards. Two fists shone and erupted with incomparable divine force. This type of fleshly power was enough to blast a great mountain into pieces. The war race woman experienced great fear. Her magical force was dissolved, and she herself was long injured to a near-dying state. She had a high cultivation realm, yet it was difficult for her to display her power. Due to her eruption of magical force just now, blood flowed through her entire body. All of the cracks over her body erupted, placing her body into an absolutely critical condition. Ping. She used an arm to defend herself, and as a result her palms and fingers became numb from the fist imprint. The other party's flesh was sturdy to a terrifying level, completely unlike that of a supreme expert. After just this strike alone, the war race middle-aged woman's body swayed, and many areas of her flesh split open. Blood splashed high into the air. She was on the verge of falling apart. It was because she had just too many injuries on her body and too many bones were broken and muscles cut. There were even a few areas that were going to fall from her body. After suffering this attack, her condition naturally worsened to the most terrifying degree. And like existence today, you actually climbed to my head. You were courting death. The war race woman berated. The area between her brows shone, forming a symbol that pressed towards Sher Hao's body. Then, Sher Hao raised the pill furnace, enlarging it, and then sending it forward to suppress and kill the other party, as well as block these symbols. The first strike ended in his disadvantage. He never expected the other party to be so powerful, able to injure him even before her death. Blood shot out from his mouth. As a result, he raised this treasure, not wishing to take risks himself. Dang. The pill furnished trembled, releasing a long and drawn-out sound. Sure how formed a fist imprint again. He continued his ferocious attacks. Hong. Both his fists moved, as if they had the power to move the sun, moon, and stars. The surroundings were brilliant. It was magnificent and divine. A pair of fist imprints bombarded downwards with incredible might. The war race woman released a groan. Even though she blocked these attacks with her arms, her chest split apart and her shoulders ruptured. A terrifying injury even appeared on her skull. Her entire body seemed like a dropped piece of porcelain, clearly shattered, but forcefully pieced together again. Kill. Sure how shouted loudly. He ferociously moved his leg, and then like dragons and snakes, they lashed outwards viciously. This was a precious technique he obtained from Origin Sky Secret Realm. Just like the earth shrinking into inches, it was also a great divine ability that was recorded in that Siam Bone Book. Magical force was now useless, so sure how is simply borrowing this technique's form, turning it into the most ferocious physical power attack. His legs moved like a dragon and a snake as they thrashed down on the other party's body. Poo. In the end, the war race woman couldn't hold on any longer. Her flesh quickly ruptured, releasing sounds continuously. Several dozen areas shot out blood. Her body was crumbling apart. I am unwilling. She raised her head and roared angrily. If not for the bone deity leaving her in such a state, how could it have ended like this for her? For a true deity to die under the hands of a supreme expert, this was truly too depressing. Unwilling? You should just suck it up. Sure how said coldly. He seized the moment and bombarded her crazily with attacks, because the magical immunity time limit was about to end. Hong. When Sure How's fist smashed outwards this time, half of the war race woman's body was dyed in blood. Her right shoulder shattered, falling off her body. Ping. Then, Sure How's body spun around and a leg swept out. The war race woman finally couldn't hold on any longer. She cried out loudly and then her flesh split apart into pieces. All of the injuries exploded at the same time, and her body crumpled apart. The moment the war race woman's head fell, the space between her brows shone. A divine flame shone. She wanted to ignite it herself and drag Sher Hao down with her. Sher Hao was given a fright. The final soul roar the bone deity released clearly seriously damaged her soul, yet this attack was unexpectedly still so powerful. Chi, like a blade, his right palm sliced down on her head, splitting it open. Then, he quickly opened the pill furnace and kicked her inside. With a Kuang Dang sound, he pressed the lid down. 
Lightning electricity flickered about and curse power surged. Soon after, the angry howls inside ended. Sure how shook the pill furnace, and then a scorched black head fell out. It then split apart, now completely dead. As for the ruined body on the mountain, it had long been ignited by Sure how's innate Dao flame and burned under the fiery radiance. This time, he killed a true deity in a clean and efficient manner. In his hands, the golden fruit shone. A rich fragrance that made one's pores relax wafted through the air, making him feel extremely relaxed. You killed her? When Yin Shi came out from the cauldron, learned of the result, and saw the ruined traces, she was utterly shocked. This was not a divine flame realm expert, but a true self realm's great figure, yet she was actually killed. There were rumors that exceptional talents at the consummate level of the supreme expert realm could kill divine flame realm experts but never had someone like that killed a true self-realm extreme expert. Moreover, this youth in front of her shouldn't even have reached the consummate level of the supreme expert realm. This was simply inconceivable. Yun Shi was completely stupefied. Even though she had an extraordinary bearing, right now, she completely lost herself, staring at him like she was staring at a freak. It was as if she was looking at a ghost. Didn't I already say that I am an undefeated legend? What? We should just journey the world together. I'll teach you later. Sure how teased. Yun Shi slapped her cheeks. Her sparkling white charming face revealed a conflicted expression. Her bright red lips remained open this entire time. And in the end, she sighed with amazement and said, How exactly did you do it? She was almost dead from the bone deity's attacks. I chased after her and then finished the job. Sure how played it down, not mentioning the actual dangers of the final fight. If he had been a second late and the magic force immunity ended, then the one that would have been dead would be him. All right. Yunshi nodded. However, she was inwardly admiring Shi Hao. Regardless, a youth killed a true deity. This was simply a legend. If word got out, it would definitely shake up all of the great ancient sects. Shi Hao also felt rather moved. He was now 17 years old, and this was the most powerful enemy he had killed so far, so it was worth rejoicing about. Let's go. Sure how called over Yunshi. Are we going to leave this ancient battlefield? Yunshi frowned. Such a great thing happened where a true deity died. The war race would definitely be furious. We're going hunting. Let's kill the dragon sparrow first, and then we can leave, Sure how said. After speaking, he dragged her with him, and like a streak of lightning, he quickly rushed towards the mountain range. You are still going to take action? Yunshi was shocked. This was a mountainous region. Sure how had previously saw the dragon sparrow flee into this region with his own eyes, so he didn't think it cold have gone far. It was because both of the dragon sparrow's wings had been removed, and its body was covered in bloody holes. It was already about to die. When he arrived in this mountain range, Sure how noticed a trail of blood. His eyes shone, and then he licked his lips, appearing incomparably excited. Yun Shi immediately felt like fainting. Did this fella come here to satisfy his desire for good food? She couldn't help but say, you are hunting the dragon sparrow to eat it? Of course. When she saw how righteous and self-confident he sounded, as if it was to be expected, Yin Shi immediately became speechless. What kind of person was this? Sure how looked around, and in the end, he actually lost the trail. This dragon sparrow disappeared inside this mountain range. There wasn't any aura. We lost it. Yun Shi felt regretful. Impossible. With my hunting experience, it definitely can't escape. For it to suddenly disappear means that it is panicking. It most likely used a secret method to disappear out of fear that the bone deity would chase over. It is just hiding. Sure, how put on the appearance of an aged veteran. Are you really that certain? Of course. I am an excellent hunter. It can fool the bone deity, but it won't deceive me. Sure, how grew up in the wasteland since he was young, so he possessed abundant hunting skills. Sure enough, Two hours later, they discovered some more clues and followed it into a mountain region. They finally discovered the dying dragon sparrow. The mountain valley was full of blood. The dragon sparrow's injuries were too severe, even more so than the war race's woman. It was already about to die. It ingested quite a few pills and was recovering here. Its wings were hacked off, and its claw exploded. It made it here purely on its last drop of magical force. You all are following the path to your own doom. It was extremely vigilant. It immediately woke. When it saw the two close in, its eyes erupted with divine radiance. Stop trying to fool others. I already killed one like you. 
I came specifically for you, Shurhao said indifferently. The dragon sparrow's gaze was ice cold. Its body shone, and symbols covered it densely. Even though it lost its wings, it could still fly into the sky through magical force. It didn't want to be too passive. So it made the preparations to battle and then escape. If you all want to deal with me, you'll have to pay with the price of your lives. When Shurhao heard this, he sneered and said, Your hundred bird mercenary group has been pursuing me this entire time. Now is the time to settle accounts. Killing you, their group head, is the most suitable conclusion. Then, he had Yunshi hide in the cauldron. A great battle began. Even though it was close to death, this battle was still extremely intense, as well as extremely dangerous. After all, this was a true deity. Then, Sher Hao blasted through the other party's flesh. However, at the final moment, because he didn't control the battle well, he blasted the dragon sparrow into the pill furnace, and it was corroded by the curse power and scorched black by the lightning. He beat his chest and stamped his feet in anger. How was he supposed to eat it now? This was too unfortunate. In the end, he dealt with the dragon sparrow and let Yunshi out. He had a sullen expression. He was extremely depressed. Yunshi felt as if she was going mad. This was clearly a world-shaking accomplishment that could overlook all peers, yet in the end, this fella had this kind of expression after winning. It truly left others speechless. This time, the two quickly left, fleeing into the distance and escaping this battlefield. It was because they knew that this place would become chaotic soon. With the death of two true deities and the appearance of the golden Bodhi fruit, what power would easily let this go? This was especially the case when there was a heavenly deity undergoing rebirth underneath at Bone Mountain. This was definitely going to trigger a huge storm. Perhaps even a world-shaking great battle might erupt. The two used their greatest speed and exhausted everything they had to escape. They wanted to leave this chaotic place. Several days later, Sher Hao and Yun Shi entered the largest ancient battlefield in the Blood Plains. It was at least 200,000 li in size, and it occupied a third of the Blood Plains territory. The Yin energy here was extremely heavy, and it was an extremely terrifying vicious place. Rumors had it that there were taboo existences that fell here, turning this place into a demonic land. Its aura was isolated from the outside world, and many secret treasures were ineffective here. That was precisely why the two decided that only by hiding here could they have a chance to live, perhaps escaping this disaster. Two days later, a powerful wave of energy swept through the entire blood plains, shaking heaven and earth. It traveled far into the distance. That type of fluctuation felt as if stars were collapsing. What is this? Sure how it was shaken up. This type of power was too shocking. Resplendent symbols blossomed in the sky, illuminating the skies. It was as if 3,000 great worlds were opening. In that instant, countless demonic gods appeared, seated around a resplendent figure and chanting in the void. It set off the creature at the center as the highest deity. The ancient ancestor, revived. Yun Shi's voice was trembling, and then she felt incomparable joy. She knew that the day when they were freed arrived. They finally lasted until this moment. Don't act rashly. Sure how grabbed her. His expression was incomparably serious as he stared at the distant sky. In the distant end of the horizon, an enormous figure appeared. It sat there within the indistinct expanse. Above its head was the blue dome of heaven. It overlooked everything. What is that? Yun Shi's heart trembled. That creature was just sitting there, yet it filled heaven and earth. It was as if all deities and ancestors descended to chant the Tao. Stars appeared one after another between his hair, fingers, and on the surface of his body. Then, they all moved around him. He was extremely indistinct, and an aura of great changes was exuded from his body, as if he lived in the past, but was currently arriving from the archaic era. War Emperor. There was actually a war emperor still alive in this world. Yunshi finally understood what was happening. She couldn't help but tremble. This was a taboo existence that founded the war race's unrivaled legend. A will to live, hundred worlds wither away. A glance from the eyes, and the world has already greatly changed. At heaven and earth's extremity, that blurry and enormous figure spoke as it sat there. It was as if it lived in the past. It was overlooking all 3,000 provinces of the higher realms. This was a war emperor. He established his reputation in the archaic legend, creating a legend and forming the base of the emperor clan legend. This was an unmatched ancient existence. No one expected him to still be alive. Based on the Bone Book's records, 
he should have passed away a long time ago from the endless passage of time, becoming one with the earth. How could he appear again? This was an inconceivable scene. It was hard for others to believe what they were seeing. The war emperor overlooked the skies. He had previously shaken up all 3,000 provinces and overlooked the nine heavens and tenth earth. He had bathed in the blood of countless giants and established itself as an unmatched existence. There were many glorious figures in the past, but when any one of them was brought up, there wasn't a single clan who wouldn't tremble. This was a living taboo and legend, now that he appeared, who could contend against him. Everyone was saying that he died, and this had long become the final conclusion. However, now, he unexpectedly appeared again in the higher realms. A great dream and millions of autumns passed, who could have foreseen this? On this side, the sky was covered in resplendent symbols. The old celestial sat in the void, illuminating the skies. The three thousand great worlds revolved around him, and countless deities and gods emerged, chanting scriptures as they did so, setting him off as the highest god. This was a taboo as well, one that underwent man to heaven, established a higher realm emperor clan, and ruled over the world. This individual bathed in the blood of countless deities and established an archaic glory. The two individuals formed a stark contrast. One was dim and indistinct, while the other illuminated the past and present. These two's encounter could still be considered peaceful. There was no great battle that immediately erupted. They were like two archaic copper bells that were unearthed. They shook off their dust and were releasing Tao sounds. Your road has deviated, forgotten how to cultivate. The old celestial spoke, his words carrying sorrow, but was extremely great. It was as if the entire blood plains was ringing with his voice, perhaps even the entire demon province. In that instant, countless powerful existences between heaven and earth were alarmed. There were even more people who were horrified in the direction of the demon province. There were heavenly deities who felt chills run down their backs. The old celestial has revived. There was a sect master who said softly, his expression was grave, and his voice was trembling. The entire demon province seemed to be trembling. The figure of the old celestial in the blood plane seemed to have crossed time and place. Everyone became aware of its existence. Countless eyes were cast in this direction, and there wasn't anyone who wasn't experiencing great fear. Life and cultivation should be a never-ending journey of self-improvement. What forgetting and what deviation? The war emperor spoke. His indistinct figure became more majestic and grand, occupying heaven and earth. His voice was extremely calm, but it tore through the air like lightning. It spanned across mountain and rivers, shaking up the boundless great earth and making all living things shiver with fear. The war emperor appeared. He hadn't entered the blood plains yet, and that indistinct figure was just a magical projection. His true body was still in the demon province. When he spoke like this, it was naturally even more world-shaking. The countless ancient sects of the demon province all heard these words. There wasn't a single creature that didn't feel terrified. He is still alive. The war emperor is still in this world. Heavenly deities spoke with trembling voices. When these words sounded, it confirmed everything. The war emperor's grandeur was incomparable, even if he hadn't emerged for hundreds or thousands of years. Everyone had believed that he had long died. Now that they appeared again, it immediately terrified the world. The cause of suffering is the pursuit of the wrong. The old celestial's voice was downcast. A wrong path might not be a mistake. Believing that a path already established is best is what is most pitiful. The war emperor replied, Those who are filled with their own thoughts and opinions will forever be unable to hear the voices of others, said the old celestial. The two faced each other sharply. Their Tao were different, and their paths were different. What they believed was even more so conflicting. Hong. In that instant, the world trembled. The blood planes were shaken, and everything in a range of several dozen Li rumbled. A large black crack appeared. Mountains and seas moved, and the sun and moon were about to fall. This was an intangible pressure between the two. Through the air, they encountered each other and made a slight contact, yet this type of terrifying result was brought forth. At this moment, forget about Shi Hao and Yun Shi, even the white bone true deity inside the ancient battlefield, the Vidra demons, and others were all shivering in fear. They all hid themselves, not willing to display the slightest bit of arrogance. What kind of existence was this? Just a will alone, a fluctuation of their auras would produce such a terrifying scene. 
If they displayed their power, it would be unimaginable. The war emperor was unmatched in battle, becoming an emperor through war. He had pressed forward unhindered his entire life, sweeping before everything in front of him. The old celestial created an undefeated legend that connected the past and present. It was hard for him to meet an opponent in this world. Now that these two faced each other, this was the battle of an era, an extremely rare confrontation between existences at the peak since the ancient times. Every movement they made would be forever recorded in the higher realm's history. Someone who thinks he possessed the Tao, but is actually being controlled by the Tao, the war emperor spoke. His voice was like thunder, shaking through the boundless wilderness and oppressing the heavens, making the sun and moon tremble. He already moved. His true body moved through the demon province and closed in on the blood plains. It was also because of this that the demon province that was incomparably vast and stretched across who knew how many tens of thousands of Lee was lightly trembling. An oppressive aura surrounded everyone's minds. They were all horrified, and many people couldn't help but kneel down towards the heavens. This was the war emperor. Once he appeared and his body moved, the world would shake in response. Countless existences of the demon province began to kowtow before him. You and me both seek the Tao, so what purpose is there in talking about possessing it? The old celestial replied. His entire body shone. Strand after strand of blood energy surged, seeping out from his pores. His aura trembled the heavens above and earth below. Heavens. The deities all trembled in fear. They felt a powerful pressure moving through the blood plains and then sweep towards the demon and heaven provinces. Seas from all directions surged. Many people found this hard to believe. A few giants sucked in cold breaths of air, and their expressions went rigid. They couldn't help but back up, their chest rising and falling violently. Through the secret treasure, through the enormous heaven-connecting formations, they saw this scene, and then all of them felt a tremble that reached down to their souls. In the skies above the blood plains, the old celestial released strand after strand of blood energy. It distorted space and isolated the heavens, making the air itself appear unstable. One could clearly see that from him at the center, streak after streak of cracks appeared in the void. He seemed to not exist in this world, but instead in hundreds and thousands of worlds past, tearing through space to descend here. That type of scene was too terrifying. Everyone felt as if they saw a great stream of time pierce through the void, and he was seated right by it. He, where exactly was he? Is he alive? Or is he releasing his divine might from the ancient past, displaying his power in this world? This was the question quite a few people were thinking in their minds. They could feel a rumbling, a wong wong sounding in their ears. The great Tao sounds entered their sea of consciousness, making them feel great fear and tremble uncontrollably. Heavenly power. This was the true supreme heavenly power. From man to heaven, this was not just a saying. There really was this type of power. How could this be? It's just too terrifying. Who can contend against this? This is the celestial race's unrivaled taboo existence? It is terrifying after all. No wonder he could roam unhindered through the 3,000 realms in the archaic era. It is hard for him to meet an opponent. Forget about others. Even when a few sect masters saw this scene, they all shivered inwardly as well, their souls even shaking. This might be the peak of human Tao. Perhaps if one evolved a step further, it would be a different type of creature, one that didn't belong to the higher realms. The blood energy seeped out from the old celestial's pores strand after strand, creating countless great cracks in the void that extended outward several tens of thousands of Li. It surrounded the entire blood plains. This scene made everyone feel great fear. We're Emperor, come. A battle it is. The old celestial spoke, his voice like a great bell that rang through the heavens above and earth below. This area of the void became unstable, as if it was going to split apart. In that instant, the great restriction formation across the blood plains and the symbols covering every inch of the great earth were completely wiped out, shattered under a single thought from the old celestial. Meanwhile, the rulers of this prairie, the twelve cities of crime simultaneous collapsed. The twelve most powerful devil kings were immediately blasted apart, turning into bloody mists. Heavens! The Lord has died. See, Turtle Devil King has fallen. Great Might Devil King's body and soul were destroyed. In that instant, great cries of alarm sounded from the twelve, now collapsed, cities of crime across the blood plains. People were panicking. What kind of power was this? The twelve devil kings that had controlled this area of the great earth for countless years all died. 
killed by a single being's will. The great formation that several sect masters laid in the past was all destroyed as well. This was a world-shaking divine might. What a matched expert. What taboo existence. Right now, everything was perfectly displayed. The old celestial was recreating the undefeated legend. If you move again, I will also take action. There won't be many people from the celestial race left on these planes. An indifferent voice sounded. The war emperor had arrived. His true body appeared, crossing through the demon province into the blood planes. It was still a massive image that was indistinct, towering between heaven and earth. Along with his advance, the great cracks in the void seemed to have disappeared, merging again. He was like a, the highest ancestor of all deities that overlooked mountains and rivers, observing the world below the heavens. Within a scope of several tens of thousands of Li, in the boundless blood-colored battlefield, there were celestial race experts, mercenaries, as well as war race people. It was extremely complicated. In energy surrounded the ancient land. Sure how shivered inwardly. His expression became grave as he watched silently. Yunxi opened her mouth, wishing to say something, but she stopped herself. This type of power brought her a great shock. She found it difficult to calm down. Was this the pinnacle of level? Will the ancient ancestor discover us? She said softly. Don't think too much. With the war emperor here, he cannot act too rashly. Otherwise, this entire place will be destroyed, and the consequences of that are unfathomable, Sherhao said. The war emperor's voice rang over, rumbling like thunder. The world seemed to be on the verge of being flipped around. Heaven province and demon province seemed to both be trembling lightly. Violent earthquakes shook through the blood plains. Great seas will turn to dust after a million autumns. The divine paths wandered rugged. The two of us are already at this age without many years left to live. So from here on out, a battle it is. I want to see what kind of comprehension you have attained. A battle beyond the skies. The old celestial spoke. His figure swayed, and then he disappeared from the blood plates. A great crack remained in his original spot. Fine, the war emperor replied. A streak of lightning hacked over. He also disappeared. Peace was restored to the blood plains, as if nothing had happened. However, that type of oppressive atmosphere didn't scatter for a long time. The momentary silence and stillness were shattered. As if comets tore through the sky, a silver-robed individual appeared, in his hands a spear. He traveled through the air and stood in the heavens above, pointing his finger towards the battlefield. Celestial race, come. Fight me. Otherwise, your people cannot leave. Then, dazzling radiance appeared in the sky. Other experts traveled through the air. The heavenly deity sealed off the battlefield, not willing to let any prey leave. Do you think my celestial race is scared of you? A woman moved through the sky with a golden bone bell in her hands. She exuded the pressure of a heavenly deity. This battle was unavoidable. The old celestial was facing the war emperor, and experts of other levels were also competing. This was a grudge that had existed between the two clans for an extremely long time. Apart from this, Heaven Province and Demon Province had a few top-level mercenary groups that were dragged in as well. For example, Reincarnation Mercenary Group, Demon Blood Mercenary Group, and Heavenly Wings Mercenary Group. They might have heavenly deities commanding them as well. It was an absolutely terrifying scene. In the air, heavenly deities roared, dragging dazzling radiance behind them that illuminated the great blood-colored land. Blood blossomed, old enemies fought. There was no way back, only forward. This is a great battle between heavenly deities. Someone cried out in shock. The entire blood planes were shaking, as if the battle from the ancient past had been recreated, turning this back into a place flowing with blood. This was a grudge between two great clans, and even more so a tangled and complicated mess of powers that were involved that made this battlefield extremely miserable. Divine blood dyed the skies red. After heavenly deities participated, experts of other levels took action one after another as well, rushing into the depths of the great earth and sealing off different roads to prevent the celestial rays from bringing back the heaven's mandate stones. Kill. A great murderous roar tore through the air. This battle was even more terrifying than what one predicted. It involved too many people. After receiving great benefits, many great mercenary groups all participated as well. One could imagine the manpower the celestial and war clans would send out. They poured into the great earth like a tide. Enormous armies slaughtered at each other. 
This was a great moment of history that was glorious to the extreme. Once this war ignited, the world became chaotic. Demon province sent out demons. Heaven province sent out deities, demons and gods danced about, fighting a war that reached into the heavens. One could well imagine without thinking too much that this battle would be recorded in the annals of history, as well as leave long-lasting effects. This was the prelude to the destruction of the Higher Realm's peace, the fuse that would blow everything up. Of course, there was even less of a need to talk about how grand of an occasion this was now that the old Celestial and War Emperor appeared. Regardless of what they did, it would all be carved into bone books. Tout I devour the heavens! A barbaric beast roared. It opened its bloody mouth, devouring several deities. It was an incredibly bloody sight. True home moon shattering roar. An enormous vicious beast appeared that was even imposing than a mountain. It opened its mouth and roared, and then several experts exploded in the void. Sparkling white bone pieces sticky with blood descended onto the ground. Bloody mist pervaded the air. It was a spectacle too horrible to endure. There were too many races involved. There were people from the various great mercenary groups, as well as other experts the two races invited over. They all slaughtered over. It was because the old celestial and war emperor entered outer space to fight, so it would be difficult for the two clans to settle things peacefully. They were both fighting with their lives on the line. They invited all of their comrades to slaughter and stake it all. This battle would decide the future of these races. Ayo ho! Deities were howling, and demons were roaring. Heaven and earth were in chaos. Apart from the divine level existences in the sky, there were supreme experts, even formation arrangement youngsters that were running along the great earth and searching about. The two clans sent out too many men. They all entered the blood plains. It was because the great formation that sealed the blood plains had been destroyed by a single thought from the old celestial. That was why transport formations could be used again. Of course, 12 terrifying devil kings that ruled these planes had fallen as well. The old celestial was furious, blaming them for assisting the war race, so he released 12 strands of blood energy that blasted them to pieces. Great armies flooded unendingly into the blood-colored battlefield. Regardless of whether it was the celestial race of war race, they had both been ranked within the top 10 great clans of the higher realms. They were emperor races and clans of the past, so they had many people on their side. This time, two ancestors fought a great battle. The ones that came were all elites. Iron hoofs rang through the skies and mounts roared, their cries echoing through the clouds. One could clearly see group after group of armored mounts rushing out of transport formations. They then stepped onto the void and soared towards the horizon, slaughtering into the boundless battlefield. The great battle was divided into many regions with the twelve collapsed cities of crime as their center. They then stretched out towards the varied ancient battlefield ruins. Sure how and Yunshi were alarmed. This battle exceeded their imaginations. Not only was it for the sake of the Heaven's Mandate Stone, it was now a war that decided their clan's fate. The results would affect hundreds of thousands of years. It was clear that they were being caught up in it as well. Let's leave and inform the clansmen, Yunshi said. Things aren't looking too good. The celestial race is at a disadvantage. The ones that are rushing into this battlefield are almost all from the war race. If we leave like this, we will become targets. Sure how frowned. That's because the war race made abundant preparations and had conspired greatly. They invited many extremely well-known powerful races to surround and wipe out my clan. And she was worried. In the past, there were six great celestials in this world, establishing their clan's glory. Now, four of them obtained Heaven's Mandate Stones, meaning that four similarly great experts could be produced. How could the other races allow this? That was why they secretly worked together. The ancient battlefield Shur Hao and Yun Shi were in was the largest one, covering 200,000 Li. It was also the most dangerous one. The mist inside was thick, isolating it from the outside world. It was to the extent where when one entered this place, a few secret treasures and other items would lose efficacy. There was a strange natural law that affected all creatures. It was because it was rumored that there had been an extremely powerful expert that used to oversee this place. His blood, bones, Tao, were engraved within the mountains and rivers, not scattering this entire time. That was also why Sher Hao and Yunshi chose this place. It was to protect them. They didn't know that the great formation of the blood plains had been destroyed, 
nor were they aware that the twelve devil kings were all killed by the old celestial. Even if they did know, they wouldn't have any other choices. It was because the entire great earth was chaotic, and slaughter happened unendingly. Enormous armies were clashing, so they might as well just hide here. How long? The great earth trembled. Great banners displayed themselves. A group of armored horses appeared, and then bows with arrows were drawn back. They shot towards the group of scattered soldiers ahead. Shio. Arrows flew out chaotically. Dazzling light appeared in the sky, and all types of divine rainbows streaked across, drawing out long tail lights. It was exceptionally beautiful. The dozen or so people that were trying to escape up ahead cried out miserably. Feathered arrows pierced through their bodies, and then they fell onto the ground with put-ong put-ong sounds, the smallest among them barely over ten, not even fully matured yet. It's my racist people. Yunshi felt anxious and furious, but it was already too late to save them. Within the blood plains, the great battle reached high into the sky and involved many regions. The celestial race of this region were defeated. A small group fled here, but it was difficult for them to avoid death. Help, help me. A youth among them with a rather young and tender face clearly saw Yunshi and sure how. He helplessly reached out his hand, blood continuously being coughed from his mouth. Unfortunately, it was already too late. That youth's eyes grew dim, and then with a put on sound, he fell just like the other clansmen. No. Yunshi's nose felt sour. Now that the battle reached this point, it truly deviated from its original intention, no longer purely for the purpose of seizing the Heaven's Mandate Stone, but instead a great battle for the fate of a clan. Their goal was not to completely wipe out their old enemy. There are two left. Your luck isn't bad. The leader on an armored horse spoke. He gave Shi Hao a look, and then he stared at Yun Shi, feeling extremely stunned. A girl this beautiful really is rare in this world. Since there is such a stunning beauty here, capture her and bring her back to the clan for me. With a wave of his hand, several dozen armored mountains rushed forward, surrounding Shi Hao and Yun Shi. Drag this unsightly brat out and kill him. I don't want him to be a hindrance here, said the armored horse leader. He was a divine flame realm expert, so he naturally didn't care much about a supreme expert. Yes, sir. There were immediately more than ten centaurs that pulled back their bows and aimed at Shi Hao. Then, they shone, and a dozen or so streaks of divine light flew over. Kacha. Shi Hao wasn't angered. The surface of body erupted with lightning, surrounding him and releasing pi pa sounds, all of them landing on those feathered arrows. Dazzling symbols immediately erupted. Then, noises sounded continuously. The feathered arrows were all blasted apart. Lord, things are a bit off. These people seem to match the secret report. It might be the ones we are looking for, someone said softly. Is that so? The armored horse leader's eyes widened, releasing brilliance. He immediately roared with laughter, thinking that this really was good luck. Great one. Be careful. I heard that these two aren't easy to deal with. There were divine flame realm experts that had fallen because of them. We need to be careful. Someone secretly warned. I understand. Arrange the formation and kill them. The armored horse hinted with his hand, and then all of the armored horses backed up. They flung out banners to seal this place. Kill. Yunshi moved. Just now, her clansmen had died, leaving her feeling greatly brokenhearted. She produced a precious mirror that illuminated all directions. Brilliance scattered about that attacked at the enemy. Sure, how is even faster? He immediately rushed out, soaring into the sky and slaughtering towards the leader. Hong. Both sides' palms collided. Symboled light rushed into the heavens. Go to hell. Suddenly, someone to action from the side. Divine flames rushed outwards, unexpectedly more powerful than the leader to attack Sure Hao. The Pichio precious technique smashed over. I am the real leader. He revealed a sinister smile. He was with the other soldiers, while the leader bossing everyone around was unexpectedly his spiritual body. Hong. What left him shocked was that the symbols were ineffective. When they blasted onto Sure Hao, they were completely wiped out. Meanwhile, his spiritual body cried out miserably. Its precious technique was useless, and after trading blows with Sure Hao continuously, it exploded in midair. Even the barbaric beast mount was killed. Hand over your life. Sure Hao rose into the air. He didn't have much time left, so he had to quickly decide this battle. The leader's true body's expression changed. He quickly backed up, but it was useless. 
sure how's palms and fingers shone. He quickly closed in, erupting with his great flesh's divine might. This battle was a more daunting experience than dangerous. Before Sher Hao's magical force immunity ran out, he barraged this person with attacks. Blood and bone splashed high into the air, and a bloody mist scattered outwards. It died an extremely violent death. Sher Hao seized a great bow and continuously fired it. Miserable cries sounded continuously. The ones that tried to escape all collapsed into pools of blood, and there were even a few mounts that exploded as well from Sher Hao's shots. Blood splashed out everywhere. War was always like this. They would never be peaceful and full of blood. This troop was completely wiped out. However, Sher Hao found it hard to make himself feel better. He had a bad feeling because they would eventually be found by the great army. Go. He quickly and immediately brought Yun Shi away from this place towards the depths of the ancient battlefield. From then on, Sher Hao and Yun Shi continuously fought bloody battles, wiping out more than 10 troops. They moved while bathed in blood. If you can't, then just put me down and escape by yourself, Yin Shi said. The most dangerous time was when a true deity came. If Sher Hao hadn't lead him into a Vidra demon's nest, they would have likely encountered quite a crisis. It's fine, they haven't found us yet. Sher Hao said to himself, E, are these two the ones that were to be captured? Soon after, they encountered another troop. A young man within this group saw Yin Shi, and then using a precious mirror, he revealed her true appearance. It's them. Surround them. He was overjoyed, ordering the several dozen experts under him to take action. Little Prince, please be careful. An old servant spoke. The youngster was the descendant of King, but he himself hadn't been granted a nobility title yet. This had always made him feel rather upset. Our generation has three great war kings, and one of them is nearby. I want to capture her before him. Yunshi was shocked. The three war kings came. Those were the illustrious young supreme beings of the younger generation, and one of them were actually nearby. She looked towards Sher Hao and revealed a look of worry. Inside the war race, once one was granted the title of war king, that meant that their natural talents were exceptional and oppressed those of the past. They truly had the power to overlook their peers. There would inevitably be a few formidable characters by these people's sides that would protect them following them into battle to prevent others from secretly attacking them. I am actually quite excited to see just how formidable these war kings really are. Sure how said to himself, his eyes shining. One has to understand that this was the War Emperor clan, one of the ten great races. It was difficult for them to produce a single war king after several tens of generations. For this generation to have three of them really was unordinary.